Hi everyone, sorry I've not been around for a while, but I thought I'd do you a quick five minute video on back button focus on my 60D and my 600D. Now, a friend of mine, Robert, introduced me to this a while ago, and I gave it a little go, and I thought it were alright, but I just never really used it, because I tend to use manual a lot, so it, it didn't seem irrelevant, but lately... I've, I've decided to give it another go and using AV as well um, now one of the key benefits from this is if you focus and recompose which I do a lot and a lot of photographers do what happens is think about this you're doing a portrait outside you're using your center focus point and recomposing you select your center you, you might be shooting from a low down angle you'll move your center focus point to the person's eye but then when you do that if you look in your viewfinder when your center focus points over the eye you might have the sky in the background as well so what happens is um, your camera will meet her at the same time and say lock the shutter speed in at one four hundred of a second you'll recompose the sky is no longer in the shot and you'll click your shutter button and take the shot at one four hundred of a second but what back, bu back button focus does which is absolutely phenomenal really you can take the same shot but when you focus on the eye you'll use your back button instead of your shutter button when you focus on the eye it will focus and activate the meter but the meter will stay in what you call like a servo mode so when you've focused and you recompose you'll see your shutter speed change um, and if it doesn't if if you're not quick enough to recompose before your camera goes off when you press your shutter button your shutter button will just meter it won't focus it'll just meter the scene and you'll see that you'll end up with much brighter exposures because you've got the sky out of the shot um, and it's just like, like I tell you I'm, I'm gonna show you a video but I was just practicing it a while ago a good way to practice it is to enable it and now I don't know how you do it on your camera but just if you've got a 60D just put 60D back button focus in Google and or whatever D7000 back button focus whatever and eat and try it and I think you'll be really delighted I mean there's a there's an instance where I was shooting one of the kids bottles against a window this morning not a full window there was the window in the shot and some of the door and when I did it with the normal way and I focused and recomposed to put the bottle up in the top left quadrant, my shutter speed just stayed. When I pressed the shutter and I focused, I got, I think it was 600 of a second. I recomposed, that never changed, obviously, and I clicked my shutter and my bottle was ultra dark. Whereas with the back button focus, I enabled it, went back up to the bottle, pressed the back button, which focused, and then as I recut, you let go of the button then, by the way, as I recompose then, my shutter speed changed as well. Because obviously it engaged the meter to continuous metering and called AF start. And, and when I recompose then, I got one, I think it was one one fortieth of a second. And I took the shot again and bang, same shot. But can you see what happened to the shutter speed by enabling this back button focus? Now, I've also lately been turning on AI servo as well at the same time now that's continuous focus now most of the time I'll focus beep recompose take the shot and I'll usually use exposure compensation you can still use exposure compensation with the back button but I mean I'm going to do a little video showing you but to be honest it's pretty damn straightforward really but I'm just explaining to you how it's going to help you out and how great it is so you, you you engage AI servo as well so what that does enables you to do is you could you could focus on something and be taking say you're doing a portrait in the studio you could I mean to be in all fairness you set your shutter speed and stuff then anyway but it's still handy for this reason you could focus on the eye at f8 recompose and keep clicking click 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 and you're not waiting for your camera to focus so I don't know if you've noticed but sometimes if you're in AI servo and you move your focus point you, you, you get that little bit of delay when you're clicking click 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 and you can just feel there's a delay there whereas with back button focus you focus recompose and just go click 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 there's n that delay is not there 
because you're not waiting for it to focus again when you press your shutter button. Um, so that's great. And if you set your camera into AI servo, you never have to take it off again because because you use back button focus, if you press the button and focus on an eyeball and let go, it's just single focus. But if you hold the button in, you've got AI servo. As long as you've got it turned on on your camera, you can hold the button in. So if somebody goes from standing stationary and you're focused on them and you're going click, 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 and you go, right, look, walk towards me, you can just hold your back button in and it'll continuously focus. And so, so basically, you can leave your camera in AI servo or continuous focus all the time. And it's only going to work in continuous focus if you hold the back button in. If you just press it once and focus and let go, it's just acting as normal focus. Whereas, and, and it's pretty good because, one, you, it's another setting that you don't have to worry about on your camera um, because it's already there if you need it really fast. If somebody goes from stationary to sprinting off down the street, usually you've got to go, shit, and you've got to stop and get your camera and quickly put it into AI servo to work. This way, you can just keep the camera up to your eye and hold the back button in. And it's in AI servo, it'll, fo it'll follow focus. Um, and you will see that, for an example, I was doing it this morning on my son, and I will show you some pictures later on. Um, and I was focusing on his eye, and the sky was in the chat. Like I say, when I recomposed, it was quite dark, and with the back button focus, it was just the difference between the shutter speed when I recomposed to where it locks it in was really, really, really good. So to practice it, find out how to engage it, Get, let your front button, your shutter button, if you get confused, your shutter button wants to activate your, um, uh, what's it call it now? It wants to activate your meter start. So that's all it does, meter start. And your back button will do meter start and focus. So when, like I say, when you come up, you get the eyeball, you press the focus button, it will engage your light meter, but it won't lock your light meter down. It'll just take the reading. And when you recompose, as long as your camera don't go off within that three seconds or four seconds that it comes on, your light meter, it'll, you'll see it'll change the shutter speed as you recompose. You'll see it changing in your viewfinder. Then just click your shutter button. And if you're at a decent depth of field, you could just go click, 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 click. And there's no focusing anymore. Um, I wouldn't recommend when you're shooting at a very shallow depth of field, keep coming up for a bit of focus again. Don't just say, oh, that's great, that, John. I focused at F2 when I took 100 shots before I focused again. I wouldn't recommend that at such a low depth of field, shallow depth of field, because if it missed focus, you're going to have took 100 shots out of focus. Um, but like at F4, 5, 6, 3.5, F8, you've got loads of depth of field anyway, so you can just get a focus, recompose, and click till your heart's content. And if the if the subject moves, quickly hold your foot shutter button, uh, your focus button in, your back button focus, hold it in, and click till your heart's content again. You're in AI servo, and again, don't forget when you first use it, you're using it as single focus, even though your camera's in AI servo. Press it, let it beep for the focus on the eyeball. Let go, you've grabbed single shot focus. And if you want to go into continuous, continuous, hold it in. Anyway, sorry about the noise downstairs, our lasses playing with kids. But I hope this video may help some people, I'm sure it will. And I will show you some examples later on, but to be fair, it's pretty straightforward anyway, but the results are fantastic.